Okay, so I'm going to be demonstrating for you uh, how to use an image or a point of reference. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, I, it might be a bit blurry, but I've got uh, my image reference. And this is a photograph of the Sirius building uh, in Sydney that I'm going to sketch and um, using line work and then a bit of an ink wash as well. So to start, um, using this image here, we need to find the vanishing point. So we can get things to proportion. So I have my pencil here. I have a few other things set up which I'll go through with you shortly. But essentially we need to work out the vanishing point. Now in my particular image, the vanishing point actually goes off the page. So if we're working with that, I'm going to say there's a little dot on this desk here. That's probably about where my vanishing point is. So I'm going to use that as a point of reference. So the vanishing point gives you a, a good understanding of where your lines are in to get the perspective right. So in, if we uh, start from there, okay, I will draw one straight line from that vanishing point, and this is just lightly, okay, across the page. Okay, and again to my vanishing point here. Okay, we're just drawing li straight lines from that point out. And we will, we will rub these out eventually. So there should be one that goes through the middle that's pretty much just straight. They're not exactly straight. And I'm not too worried about getting them perfect, but it's just a rough guide. Okay, so I might draw a couple more just to give me more of a, uh, more of a guide. And these, these are sp supposed to help you to get the proportions right. So you can see that I have this, uh, these lines that look like they're kind of coming out. Okay. So then, from there, uh, we use the image of reference and you will actually be working on site. So you'll be sketching uh, in the real life. I say, well, where do I want to start my, my sketch from? Well, I really want to emphasize this part of the building. I might not, I'm probably not going to include the whole building, but just the parts that are most interesting that I really want to show. So this, this part here in this sort of corner in the edge uh, of the page, uh, start by drawing the, the, the upward lines, okay? Now my middle point, it kind of finishes, the top of this building kind of finishes there. It's not quite right, so I might just draw myself another line to gauge that. Okay, it's probably about here where it starts. So, draw my line down, and I'm going to imagine that that other building is not in front of it. Okay, so I've got that. So now we've got the basic pencil outline. Actually, I think I've just got one, one window in there that I've missed. Now we've got the guide for the buildings, the proportions looking great, but we want to actually get the style now. So this is where we are using the continuous line work to bring in some detail, some tone, and some interest. Okay, so you're really, uh, this is where you're really showing your technique, okay? So again, it's about experimenting, um, but this has now given us the, the, the proportion guide. So we can keep things into proportion and we can rub this pencil work out when we're finished. So uh, I am just going to start. Okay, I'm, tr I'm using my image as a point of reference. Uh, if you can see, you might be able to see that. Um, if not, I'll put it in there in your video so you can have a look. Um, so it's about getting the tone right. 
So, um, because I'm left-handed, it's a little bit hard to see, but this is where we really need to use um, what we are looking at uh, and judge the light accordingly. So, reading the tones, reading the light and the dark in that way. So, here we go. So I can see in this corner that it's quite dark. So you, you want to start with the darkest parts first. Now I'm really focusing on uh, gestural uh, organic lines here for my, for my particular style. Okay, and then we can, we're can we starting to see shapes emerge. So, here I have some ink I'll be using. Now you do not need a lot of this at all, okay? So I put, you can have a look, um, a couple of drops is really heaps. You do not need a lot. I'm just got a little bit of a drippage there, so I'm taking a lot of care to ensure that I don't get it everywhere. Which looks like I've already splattered it, which is not great, but it's okay. Now, water, okay, and um, you need to dilute the ink. Uh, if you don't dilute it, everything will turn pitch black, okay, a really dark black. So, you do definitely need water here, okay. So, now I can test this by dabbing my brush on the edge and I can see it's got a nice grey, that, that's what you want because I'm trying to show the greys in the building here. So now for this particular part I can see, okay, it's actually quite dark. Now I haven't got enough water to spread this out but if I get some water here yeah, I can really spread this this um, this grey along. Okay, so I've got, I've made a start up here with my line work and I can simply, just to highlight, or to darken even, just going in and adding some detail there in the ink. Okay, now that's not dark enough for me, so I've gone back into my ink bowl and I've said, actually, no, not dark enough. Okay, that's too dark. So I've just added a little more water to that. Okay, but you can notice how you can still see the line work. We don't want to hide the beautiful line work. Uh, we're just really trying to show that tone. Okay, so I haven't quite finished my line work there, so I'm not going to touch that. Here, uh, I would like to actually draw over the ink part. So that's that. And there's quite a dark section here. And in these windows too, they are really dark. So I'm just dabbing them ever so lightly. Okay. Now I really should do some more line work. Um, just to... Uh, emphasize the lines that's what you'll need to do is do a lot more of this kind of thing okay so I'll just put my brush away make sure that's dry it's not quite dry yet so I might continue on with another window okay and once it's dry I can actually draw back over it it's still not quite dry enough yet you don't want to ruin the pen okay so yeah, you need to just make sure that that's pretty dry before you go over it. But that's essentially, essentially the start, starting point. So once you do your line work, okay, um, once you've got your lines in there and you're happy with how it's all looking, you can, uh, yeah, basically add some ink sections to it. Um, and not to go, not ensuring that you don't go 
too overboard. So a bit of dry brush too to emphasize the lines. And there we have it. So that's a start. So here we are. This is a two point perspective. Uh, start with uh, pen and black ink drawing.